Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, we are going to create this model using Rhino, Grasshopper, and Lunchbox. So I'm going to go to Rhino. I'm going to type UN to double check the units. Uh, I want to go with meters, three decimal places. That's good. So let me create a surface here. Uh, I'm going to use this rectangular plane going uh, maybe from this corner to here. Uh, so you see this is a surface. I want to subdivide this surface so I can type subdivide. But you see subdivide doesn't work on surfaces, right? That's why I need mesh. So first I need to convert this surface into a mesh. So I want to go with mesh. Okay, uh, this is the surface, I can hide it, and now this is the mesh. Now that I have the mesh, I can subdivide it, right? And now you see that plane is now uh, divided into four planes. The good thing is that if you click on it and uh, press F10, it's going to give you control points uh, on all these intersections. So if I select this again and subdivide it, it's going to be um, even more control points. Uh, I press F10 again, right? So let's subdivide it once again. So I'm going to go with subdivide. Uh, this seems interesting. I'll go with F10 so I can see these uh, points better. How about I get all the points? I'm going to turn gumball on, maybe turn grid snap off and select this corner points so they wouldn't be part of the selections. Hold control, uh, select this. It's actually going to deselect them. Now I can move the rest up. So for instance, it's uh, moved by about 5 meters right now. Uh, we can keep working on this. For instance, I can grab these points, hold uh, shift, select the rest of the points. I can move this a little bit higher. Uh, you can play with the rest of the points as well. Let's say, for instance, these two points. Hold Shift, this one. This point. Uh, hold Shift, this point, and this point. Maybe I can move them down a little bit. Right? Uh, you can work with uh, different sides of this uh, surface. So I'm considering this as a pavilion. Uh, this looks good now. If I select it, you see that it says one open mesh is added to selection. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to open Grasshopper. Uh, and I want to actually use Launchbox. Uh, if I go to Launchbox, I'm interested to go with uh, triangular panels, maybe this one. So this accepts surfaces, right? If I bring a surface node, you see, if I try to select this surface, it would not allow me because this is a mesh. This is not a surface, right? So what we need here is that we can select this. We can actually turn it into a NURBS surface. If I hover around this icon, you see right click will allow me to convert to NURBS. I'm going to go with this. We have some options here. Delete input objects. Actually, yes, I want to delete uh, the input. All seems good. Let's hit space. So now this is a NURBS surface. It's not a mesh anymore. Right? So let's see if we can read this information in Grasshopper now. I'm going to go with uh, set one surface, select this. Still, I cannot do that. Okay, let's do something else. Let's try set multiple surfaces. Click here. It does not allow us. So uh, the reason it does not allow us is that it's a nerve surface. Uh, the easiest way to address this issue is to type X for explode. Now it's exploded, right? It's uh, combined of a bunch of surfaces. I want to select them all. Right click here and go with set multiple surfaces. So this is how you can actually work with mesh 
and nerve surfaces in grasshopper. Uh, now that this surface is defined, I can connect it to my triangular panels. I want to hide this. So if you zoom in here, you see that uh, there are very small panels here. Uh, by default, U and V are set to 10. I want to reduce this number, maybe 2, assign it to U and V. This getting better. You can try other numbers too. Uh, you can try number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. I'll go with 2. Uh, this seems good. Uh, before moving on, I have a couple of objects here. I want to maybe group them, these surfaces, and I want to hide them for now. Now, uh, what I see here is only the objects created in Grasshopper. Okay. Uh, so we have a set of triangular surfaces, this seems good. Uh, I'm also interested to separate the frames from the panels, so I can go to Generate. I want to go with Panel Frame. Uh, panels go to Panels. I want to hide this, and you see this a dashed line, this means that it's a list within a list. I would like to flatten this item. So it's one single list. This S here, the input, is responsible for ratio of uh, the frame and the panel. By default, it's set to 0.5. So if I set it to like 0.6 or 0.7, it's going to increase the size of the panel. How about I go with 0.6? So this seems good now, everything good. Uh, I want to bring one scribble and I want to type triangular panels. Uh, select these four nodes, make a group, and I want to see what's going on here. So let's bring a panel. If I connect frame to frame, we have a bunch of the surfaces here and a number of surfaces here. Uh, I'm going to see if this allows me to use solid union. If frame goes to P, it actually does. So if I bring one more panel, connect this to this, now you see it's one open B rep instead of a number of um, untrimmed surfaces. Instead of 512 surfaces, now we have only one object. Uh, I'm going to actually show you what's the difference between frames and panels here. If I go with solid union, You see, for this one, if I bring a panel for the panels, uh, it did not actually make them into a one object. That's because they are not connected to each other, right? The reason this one is converted into one object is that they are actually connected. So this is all good. I want to uh, bring one more scribble. And I want to name this as Panels and Frames. Let's group these items. So I don't actually need this. Select the four nodes, right click, group. And now uh, I want to bake the frame and the panel in two different layers. So let me go to layers here, create two layers. One of them is for frames, one of them is for panels. So I want to right click here, this is my frame, I want to bake it into the frames layer and I want to group them. Uh, they're now there. Also I want to right click on the panel here, bake them, and they're gonna go to the panels. Group them, yes, all good, okay. Uh, so we are good here, this is all you need to know. Uh, in Grasshopper you can save your Grasshopper file and close it. Uh, let's see in Rhino, uh, how about I 
turn this layer off. Uh, I want to actually make these objects a little bit thicker. So I want to go with offset surface. It's going to be as a solid 15 centimeters. Looks good to me. Uh, flip, actually, yes, I want them to be going towards out. Hit the space. Uh, so now we have actually uh, extruded surfaces. If I change this to shaded, uh, you can see better now. I'm going to turn this layer on as well. Now we can assign separate material uh, to each of the two. For instance, here for the panels, I'm going to go with glass. For the frames, I want to go with some kind of a dark wood. Uh, if I change this to rendered, uh, you're going to see it and I want to assign a ground plane. It's going to be organic, grass, this one. And finally, you can turn on the sun. Uh, you can take care of, of the settings by clicking on the location to be set to here. And we can change this to be like a summer day. And you can work with uh, different shadows.